Hi guys! So I made a live stream uh, putting the uh, six string on the pedestal here. I've had this six string for a few months now and I can never seem to get it to work. What I don't like about six string banjos is the, uh, the low notes. They're tuned just like a guitar and the low notes just they don't sound good. And I couldn't quite figure out why because I'm not that in depth of a musician. Like I just like go, oh, that sounds great. And I go with that. Um, so I done a couple experimentations of trying to string it just like a five string. Uh, and that didn't sound great. That just sounded like shit. Um, doing a little bit more random research cause I'm procrastinating right now. Um, <laughs> is that uh, a video I found uh, reference Banjo Bill. And this video was done, it was GW's um, 12 six strings and band guitars. It, a very informative video where this guy talked about different string, uh, different string gauges and uh, the different tunings with them. And uh, so the gauges on this string, on this, that are on here right now is a 171310, 171310 nickel electric guitar strings because that's what I use for the six string banjo is uh, electric guitar strings because of the nickel. And five string banjos are strong with, uh, I use nickel for those too. They seem to do a lot better in the elements because I do a lot of outside gigs and I sweat, I'm a slug in the summer. And uh, anyway, so using those gauges, the tuning is also where the where it used to be the low notes are tuned an octave higher. And so if you're using an automatic, like a, a phone app, like I do, uh, that you have to pay for all the extra stuff, but the basic stuff is free. Uh, the 12 string guitar tuner works, at least for me it did. And so, so cause to, to obtain the higher, uh, the higher octave of the low notes, the bottom three notes, well, I guess technically the first three, cause we go from bottom to top are tuned normal, just like a guitar. And uh, so it gives you this very unique sound. Which fits for my style of playing when I'm playing on the guitar. When I play banjo, I do claw hammer. Uh, but, and I'm trying to incorporate it on the six string banjo with no, very little luck, but at least with this, I've made some progress. Cause doing, I do basic claw hammer, I don't do drop thumb. The basic claw hammer with this kind of gauging and tuning is just like this. Which is really cool. I just, I, I am very happy with the sound. So, specs is I got, and I just, I haven't cut the strings yet because I literally just strung this a few minutes ago. It's a Luna six string. Uh, was a little bit disappointed when I first got it because of the amount of work I had to get it. The, uh, it was basically the nut and uh, the nut at the top of the neck. The nut at the top of the neck needed some work where they were cut too deep. And so, it made the strings buzz on the first couple frets. If I uh, adjusting the the uh, the action made to where it was playable made the action like extremely high. I didn't like that, and so there was a lot of fixes on top of just buying a new nut, which I didn't have at the time. I took um, uh, a wall strip. The name always escapes me, but I cut that to the width of the nut, and it's basically like a foam padding, and then I uh, placed it in there. My mistake was I gr gorilla glued it, some kind of stuck with that. It fixed it. Uh, the action's great, at least for me. Um, the best option would have been to just hold off by the by the new nut because it was not. It's they're easy to remove uh, when you don't gorilla glue them. And so, I just love how it sounds. Uh, so I'm kind of stuck with that. I have new nuts, but no, uh, I don't want to risk ripping the 
instrument apart. But that little easy fix uh, made it playable. It's been in a few gigs, it just didn't like how it sounded because of those low notes. But now that I have those low notes removed, this might find its way back on the stage in my hands. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna play a song and the strings are new, so they're probably gonna warp out of tune. But so far it's holding pretty well. I just love how that sounds, but it just... Yeah, gives it that new, nice, unique sound. I will post the links of uh, the videos I found and uh, check them out if you have yourself a six string banjo or if you have a guitar and you're interested in getting a six string banjo, there's some things that you would like to know. Um, yeah, but uh, I'm gonna play a song that kind of just demonstrate it. And uh, yeah, and you be the gauge, you be the judge of, hey, that sounds all right, or man, he uh, should really just stick to his career, which is not a musician. <laughs> anyway, here we go.
It just sounds, it sounds like progress. <laughs> uh, it sounds like progress. We've gone from having an instrument that was barely playable to making it sound okay. It was, it's all right, we'll make it to like, holy shit, we've, we've made some groundbreaking discoveries thanks to YouTube. And, uh, and, uh, very happy with the, with the progress so far. Um, there's a couple other things I'm going to try as I restring this instrument when the strings break. And, uh, cause the downside to doing this is, um, I have to break apart packs of strings or buy them individually by gauge. Uh, but then, uh, one of the, uh, another solution is just buy, uh, you can buy a set of, for 12 string guitars, there was a specific pack of strings that was called out that I plan on looking into. And it sounded like that didn't have to uh, break any parts of strings. You just buy the pack and boom, you got it. And uh, that will probably be the route I go to eventually when I have to restring this thing. But for now, I'm working with it. I'm sticking with it and I'm, I'm happy with it. And uh, looking forward to putting this back on the stage again because it's a cool little instrument. Six string banjos are fun and have a lot of application to them if you know how to use them like I don't. <laughs> yeah. So check it out and uh, I'll see y'all next time.